Are you struggling to create efficient schedules, track employees, hours, and manage labor's cost very effectively? Managing a workforce can be overwhelming without the right tool. Welcome to Deputy Scheduling, the ultimate platform for streamlining workforce management. In this step-by-step -step guide, I will walk you through how to use Deputy to create schedules, track time and attendance, manage payrolls and analyze performance, all from one intuitive dashboard. By the end of this video, you will know how to set up Deputy, create staff schedules, monitor labor cost, and generate reports to optimize your workforce management strategy. Let's dive in. Before moving further, let's go and click on pricing because obviously it's going to play a major role. Here it provides you four types of plan. The first one is a scheduling. This is for the time and attendance. Premium, premium is where you can include each and everything, right? Now this is for the enterprise. Now it's uh, enterprises up to with more than 250 employees and they will give you custom rates for it. You can obviously just go and click on try deputy for free. You can book a demo so they can help you with it. Right, so right now we are just going to book a demo which will up to 31 days. There's a no credit card required and I will use my Google account to log in uh, very seamlessly here. You can do the same thing or you can use a separate email ID which is much more. It's completely up to your comfortable. Now once you're here, you will see this businesses section. It says you aren't currently a member of any business in Deputy. Create a new business. So basically you can just go and click on add a new business or click on create a new business. So let's, we will just go and click on here. Automatically you will be come up on this page. So here it will ask you, do you own a business or manage a team? Is your team already using deputy? So if your team is already using a deputy, you can just go and click on join existing team there and you can ask your team, they will give you a separate link to join, right? Or if you just want to own a, if you own a business or if you want to manage a team or a deputy, let's go and click on discover here. Now it will ask you, what is your business name? So I will just write here HVD or let's say I'll just write here Filex, EXP, now here it will ask your phone number and this is a country. So let me just add my country. Now what best describe your business? So my business is completely into the um, you know services. So I'll just go and click on services, select your industries. So it is regarding. So obviously you can see here if I just go to go and select your retail and hospitality, then obviously my industry will completely change. Right, so for example, let's go here and choose any one of this option and it's regarding services here. And if I just go to the others, you can see here it's completely some of the different section, right? So I will just go and retail and hospitality and here I will just go and click on cafe and coffee shops, right? Now here, how many of your employee use deputies? So I'll just go and select one to 25, click on next right and what bring you to deputy obviously i just want to process my team pay and save time and scheduling i can choose only one i don't know why i just want to choose more than one what payroll provide to you use so i use quickbooks right you can choose any one of on one of another for example next which is pretty much popular right zero is also popular now let's go and click on next when are you looking to improve the way uh, you schedule your teams as soon as possible? How do you hear about deputies? So let's I'll just select your blog. Now click on create a business. By the time you can watch this complete video here and you will find something. Uh, I have chosen cafes and shops. That's why they are showing me the video of cafe and shops here. If you choose any other industry or any other job section or businesses, obviously maybe they would show some kind of a different videos related to your industry. And if it does, then let me know in the comment box. It will be great here. Now, so we are into the dashboard of deputy. Now let's make deputy look like your business. Obviously, I want to do this. You can see here automatically took the my business name here. How many physical locations do you have? So I have only one. If you have multiple, you can select here. And if you choose some different industry or different business, obviously they will give you some kind of a different option. So you can choose accordingly. Do you have independent scheduling managers for each section of your business? I guess no. Now here I have to enter the address. I don't want to do this, All right? So let's say I will just write here one address and click on next. 
now let's select your area so i just want to go for everything i can add my own for right now i don't have any options so i'll just go and click on next year automatically it will it is saying that setting up your dashboard or whatever it is now let's add your team members so i have i'm the first one which is this name and let's say the second one is ron employee i have to enter their email right and automatically a link an invitation link will go to their email and they can join me over the deputy i want to skip this part here now all sorted i just i can use it right now okay so this is the dashboard this is a setup page so i can just set up page my here automatically let's go to the home page here first of all now you can see here set up basics and everything okay the interface changed pretty fast now publish your first schedule learn about time tracking and there's a lot of stuff we will explore one by one here now deputy is really good because it helped me to create schedules track time and attendance manage payroll analyze performance right it's great the cloud-based and accessible from any device integrates seamlessly with tools like quickbooks zero and netsuit and there's a lot much more integrations available right which is really nice now it's a time of ai and there's a ai powered suggestions for optimal shift scheduling so to get started here first of all we can customize our dashboard which you can see here so to fit the workflow by adding you know widgets like schedule summaries time tracking charts or payroll overviews we can rearrange elements for better visibility and accessibility right now here on the top you will see a lot of option for example this is me and i didn't start the shift here but let's go and click on newsfeed so newsfeed is really useful because we can announce something for example uh, i can select here for all the locations right especially i have only one location here but you can choose here all the location now what is happening here so hey i can just write here we are in jput right and i will just write something like this i can attach an email right and obviously my all team members whoever used deputy they can comment on this i'll just go and click on post now my every team member will get a notification and we can use something like this as a social media but for internal team right which is really nice here now i can i i from here i can just go and click on create a post and i can ask my team member that hey can you join me just for this purpose of work and i can always tag them and uh, it will go to the important post here right and this is a, your post section so this is really nice if you get some kind of confusion for example if you want to announce uh if you want to post an announcement to share with your whole team or a private message to select an individual your team will receive message instantly on the deputy mobile app so you can just watch the video and they will help you with it which i've already shown you it's really easy thing to do for example i want to it will show all my team member so for example i want to message only anil here right so i can ask him can okay can you join me right so automatically this message will only go to anil and no any other team member so this is really nice you can you can choose privacy as well as the you can choose your community at the same time and this is what i really like the news feed here i can you can see here can you join me so i i only got the message i can comment here right so for example i want to comment here yes sure right and i can just go and click on comment so uh, only uh, the member who sent me this message only they can read it out now this is a task so i can assign a task to my team member as well as i can assign the task to a particularly my whole team or to a just individual or team member who is working with me so for example here i can just go and click on add a task and task for a whole area so when i select whole area it means the whole team member who is working with me a task for me so just i can only access it and a task for someone else so let me show you how you can create let's first of all select here coffee machine right now here i can just add a labor model here right now so for example if i want to add a sub task so let's say i want to add a sub task here right fix it right and then i can just go and click on fix it or check it so this is a sub task right and i can assign to a team member so right now i have only one team member here but anyway in your case it will be uh, more uh, and here i just want to assign this task to manager right so i can assign this task to a manager here and uh, after this 
Now here this is a, a start time. So for example, the start time could be from you know 7 p.m., 7 a.m. and uh, here the repeat and the repeat for example if this is a daily task so obviously i can put it as a daily if this is a weekly task monthly task so it's really easy to schedule my whole work in a just a single click now here automatically my manager will get a notification and it will show up in my manager dashboard and she or he can just access it up and complete the task right so for example if they click on it they will see the subtask for example coffee machine fix it check it right so for example only one task got completed so automatically the manager will click on check it let's say the check it got completed right or let's say fix it got completed so automatically it will show in the done section right but as you can see here two out of three tasks has been completed not three tasks so if i just go and click on here and let's say my manager did, did the third task too so i will just go and click on here now automatically the color changed here right which is in the green color so this is really nice now for example i want to create a task just for someone else right I want to assign a task right for example make a coffee right and I want to assign this to and in here are some very specific number like the due date is exactly today I just want to make it as soon as possible the note I can assign whatever the related description or information I want to add here after this I will just go and click on save right now here you can see there's a one task so if I just go and click on one task automatically you will see a make a coffee right so for example if it is done then automatically all completed so it will show in my task i hope you understood this everything here for example this is a location so location is something for example uh, you have more than one branch right so you can manage everything at once right for example there's only one branch here i can just go and click on edit setting and i can change the uh, operating hours here the nodes and everything the areas the scheduling time right the the areas are divided into the manager sales and admin security stuff here I, I can edit it i can add it by my time and here this is a time sheet so what it's a time at what time the message should be go on right and what time uh, all employees should join my coffee shop and everything so you can just customize it completely up to you this is a notification so if you celebrate birthdays in your office then you can send notification right and this is a late two o'clock off upcoming shifts and everything so this is really nice now there's a more information more some you know notification extensions are available for example for work anniversary late o'clock off team members unfilled open shift and there's a lot of things now if i just go to the people section here i can just for example you can see here this is a system administrator which i'm the owner right and the pay rates i can change the pay rates here and everything and the people i can add people directly from the quickbooks so this is regarding the payroll and everything so i can just use the payroll and if you want a, uh, another tutorial on quickbooks uh, i can just make it because it's it will be become a really lengthy if i just uh, you know start explaining the quickbooks here now, automatically i can add a team member i can import by integration i can also use csv file and this is a schedule now schedule is really useful for example if i just go and click on plus here and i can schedule a work to my manager so don't get confused between the task and the schedule so schedule is completely different from the task right and let's say i just save it and for example if it's done then i can uh, if it is happening on 25th i can move to the 25th here i can copy it out and i can paste it here for example you can see here right right click you can just go and click on paste right so this is a something like this you can say here google calendar you can assign the future task in the calendar for your every team member and for example let's say there's a manager for every specific department so you can see here right and each manager of each um, department will shortlist the task and move on to the team members right now this is a timesheet so approve timesheet and let's just go and click on here now it will show you the time sheet of exactly of all your team member and it will go through you or whoever have the administrative purpose or the decisions to approve it right and they can help you regarding the which information should be passed on and which information should be approved or discarded right so this is how you can just approve it and disapprove it whatever it's completely up to you now this is the reports so report is something which will give you all information at one glance right uh, regarding this payroll regarding the task the completed tasks the uh, task loss the schedules locations and everything so this is really useful from here you can discover more for example if i want to just view the reports here 
automatically I can come to here and I can just view my reports, right? For how many hours the my employees worked and for what was the salary cost, the cost variance, what was the sales and everything. Now let's come back to the me. So me is a summary of each and every task which I have explained you till now of the news feed which will show up here a need approval which is regarding the timesheet right and what is happening so you will get the news feed here your team is just awesome okay this is what written here obviously my team is clearly awesome now you will see the calendar and the upcoming tasks you can request time off and the no upcoming shift and everything right so you can get all this information at once if there's a notification obviously you will find it here for example if i want to start a shift right so i can select here for as a manager so I click on start a shift it means i have started working now when let's say i work from uh, you know 10 a.m to till evening 7 p.m so once uh, the time will be 7 p.m i can just go and click on end shift right now here you can see i can just write your comment whatever it is the time sheet might be deleted because it length is less than minimum length obviously it was just an example obviously the time sheet should be at least for four or five or six or seven eight hours right now here i can go and change my time for example let's say i started working at 7 a.m and I want to end the shift right now. Now automatically it will add it in my timesheet and this is how it's work. So finally, GPT provides powerful analytics tool to help you measure performance and optimize strategies, right? Now use these insights to identify inefficiencies, recognize stock performance and refine your workforce management strategy. You can also export reports in various format. Right, and there's a link given in the description if you're thinking to buy, then obviously please buy it from there. It's a way to support our channel, plus you will get a discount. And there's you have it, a complete step-by-step -step guide to use deputy for workforce management. Whether you, whether you are creating schedules, tracking time, or analyzing performance, deputy has the tool to help you succeed. If this video helped, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more software tutorials. Thanks for watching.